Jeez, the hell's up with this guy? Just another crazy off the streets. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, guys, let's do this. Roger. You're going down. I swear, sometimes this city gets uglier and uglier every step. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. I'd really rather not. Ah, looks like we've got ourselves quite the specimen. Huh? I knew I'd run into an unclassified sooner or later. Now let's see what data you're hiding. Scientific name. What should that be? Hmm. Turncoat titillator should do it. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, sorry. I've been tracking a rare specimen around here, and I might have gotten a little carried away. You're what? Some kind of researcher? Yes, the name's Professor Morikasa, but most people call me the Sujiman Sensei. Sujiman Sensei? What is that exactly? <laughs> I catch your interest? How about you swing by my lab? I can explain more there. And as thanks for helping me subdue that specimen, I'll make you some tea or snacks or whatever you like. That sounds great. Hey, Ichiban, let's go. I don't know. Doesn't he seem a little sketchy to you? You won't make it in this city if you bite the hand that feeds you. Besides, I take free over sketchy every day. Now let's get a move on. <sighs> Fine. This place I call the Sujimon Center, it's a fully functional research lab. You mean your fully random office room? Anyway, you came here to learn about Sujimon, did you? Allow me to explain. Sujimon are monsters of men that make you super jittery, but super jittery men didn't have much of a ring to it. Hence, Sujimon. Uh huh. Okay, sure, it's a stretch, but all you need to know is that they're the definition of bad. Society needed a concept for men that give you the creeps and attack without warning, and that's a Sujiman. Then you're going around collecting their data. Why? I do it for the sake of world peace. World peace? Think about it. This planet teems with all manner of degenerates and criminals. Just take a look around you. Now tell me, how many bad guys are out there wandering around? And how are they classified? Can you give me an answer? Um, not when you put it that way. Indeed. When people ask themselves, what kind of bad guys are out there? How can I identify them? They're generally left to wonder. And because they're left wondering, they go up to one of these bad guys out of sheer curiosity, and often end up paying the ultimate price. That's why I'm recording who these monsters are and where they make their habitat. By doing so, I can lessen their impact on society by keeping people out of harm's way. That makes sense. Guess it takes a sketchy scientist to research sketchy people. But what made you decide to do this in the first place? 
Let's just say I had a rough past. The takeaway here is that I'm contributing to a peaceful world, and I take that very seriously. So, how much data have you collected so far? The thing is, every time I run into a bad guy, they always rush over to beat me down before I can gather data. You might say that's hampered progress. Yeah, I bet that would. <sighs> I'm at my limit here. If only I could find an honest, maybe even slightly reckless guy who wouldn't shy away from random enemy encounters or getting his hands dirty. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hope you find your guy. Let's roll, Namba. Come on! Hear me out for a minute! What? Don't tell me you want us to collect a bunch of weirdo data. You hit the nail on the head, buddy. Now, I'm not asking you to go fight everyone you see. All I need is a little battle data whenever a battle does happen. Besides, I imagine two tough guys like yourselves get into brawls fairly regularly, yes? So, I was thinking, why not gather data while you're at it? Easier said than done. Perhaps. But a comprehensive Sujimon encyclopedia is what this world needs. How about I throw in some completion rewards? Oh, now I see those ears perk up. Hear that? A steward, Ichiban. I guess I do like completion rewards. Fine, we'll do it. If this really does help society. I guess we all reap the benefits. Exactly. Glad you understand. Let's hop to it then. So, how do we go about recording your data anyway? Ah, that's simple. This custom application I made does all of the work. As for how it operates, well, I think a live demonstration might best get you up to speed. Hey! Time to earn your keep! Who are these goons? Let's just say they're assistants who specialize in field work. Now what's your favorite color? Red, blue, or green? Uh, not sure where you're going with this, but... Let's go with red. Okay then, red it is. All right, you two, give red here some backup. Now, give them a taste of what I pay you for. Huh? Don't tell me you want us to fight. Yes, in fact I do. Every time you wallop an enemy, the Suji Dex app kicks in. It records battle data automatically. That's freaking nuts. Gentlemen, I choose you! Get ready for a Sujimon battle! Come on! Yes, man. Okay. Watch this! What a I got this! Yeah! Come on now! Take your best shot! It's all Get sick! Let's go! You're in it now! Let's go! Struggling here. Let's do it. Yeah. 
Watch this. Have fun with this. I am not happy. Yeah? Let's go! Okay. Nice! <sighs> Impressive! Clearly, I chose the right people for the job. Keep that up and you'll be the best, like no one ever was. That's kind of you. So where's the data at? Right. Why don't you tap that app and see for yourself? That's the idea. Defeat lots of Sujimon, collect lots of data. And, as promised, I'll reward you for the job. Expect to get some emails as you hit completion milestones. Hope it's not more trouble than it's worth. Well, there's something in it for us, so we might as well give it a try. We're in no position to be picky. Yeah, you're right. Don't forget! The world's counting on you! So you gotta dispatch them all! Then you'll be the next Sujimon Master! So good. It works delicious. Up like a baby. Huh? A nonsense moving, comforting low hum, kicking back in a cold but comfy seat in complete and total darkness. Place is perfect when you need a nap. Yeah, I'll stop by again next time class is canceled. I don't remember anything about the movie though. Well, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Vintage film theater. Guess they only show old movies here. Yeah. We're not an inn, you know. Have a little respect, huh? Ah, this is a classic, too. Hey, mister. Interested in watching a movie? We've got some classic titles in-house. Oh, well... Well, I also get kind of sleepy when I'm in the dark watching a movie I don't really understand. I don't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> it's quite all right. But just because a film is old doesn't mean it's hard to follow. Old films span a whole range of genres, from sci-fi to romance, suspenseful thrillers to fun for the whole family. And of course, we have many titles are just as spectacular as the latest and the greatest, guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. Huh. These were long before CG, which means things like real explosions on the set doesn't get much better than that. In fact, I'll say it's downright fresh. So much so that I'm confident you'll feel refreshed by the time the credits roll. All right, I'll bite. You must really love movies. Your eyes light up whenever you talk about them. <laughs> well, I didn't choose to be a curator of vintage films for nothing. I simply want nothing more than for people of today to watch these films and find some joy, even if it's just a little. It'd be a waste if they were left to be forgotten. Wouldn't you agree? But then, I suppose that's entertainment, an ever-fleeting sparkle. Though it would be fantastic if people saw these films as a brilliant little sparkle in their own lives. I get ya. So that's why you opened up the theater. Correct. The Seagull Cinema is a place where anyone of any age can come to appreciate the classics. 
Though anyone also includes those who fall asleep during the screening. <laughs> Regardless, this is a good opportunity for you to get a taste of the classics for yourself. And since it's your first time, this one's on the house. Really? You sure? Quite. I'd like you to see all the good this place has to offer. Well, I'm already here, so I might as well. Excellent. Right this way, please. Today's showing is a monumental piece. Robocook. Half culinary drama, half gunslinging action masterpiece. I can watch this over and over again and never get tired of it. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna watch too? Of course. As a curator, I'm allowed to watch any film I want at any time I please. All right. Well, it's about to start. No sleeping during the screening now. We must show our utmost respect for those who brought these splendid works to life. I dare say that even blinking would be a waste of precious screening time. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> oh shit. This place is weirdly comfy. Damn. Now I'm sleepy as hell. That guy was nice enough to let me in here. Don't fall asleep.私には記憶はない。何のために生まれたのか。家族、友も愛するものもわからない。だが、これだけははっきりとわかる。私は料理のために生きるのだ。I'm sleepy all of a sudden. Sleep more. <laughs> I fall asleep for once. His sons, you get a sea extreme from me. Movies make me so sleepy. <sighs> I 
was awesome! Made it to the end! Awesome. Whew. At least I was able to stay awake. That was pretty good, though. Guess it doesn't matter how old it is. A good movie's a good movie. I probably would have gone my whole life without watching one of these if it wasn't for this place. This guy really wants everyone to enjoy the classics, huh? There's still a lot I haven't seen, so I should come take a breather when I have time. Thanks for today, Mr. Curate. <sighs> oh, sure. Respect the classics. <laughs> Sup? Okay. 
take one uh. shot. Yeah. Go. No. ありがとうございます。<笑> 
まで行かれますそれでは出発いたしますありがとうな。
多。待て this all about, huh? I just want to protect Shota. You mellowed out yet? That old man gave the kid that bookshelf because he knew it was his birthday. He was just trying to do something nice for him. His... his birthday? You mean you forgot your own kid's birthday? And you were trying to blame the old man? 
No, it's not that. Dad's been working really hard ever since Mom passed away. I can't blame him for forgetting. No. No matter the reason, a parent who forgets their child's birthday has failed at being a parent. Dad... Since the day we said goodbye to your mother, I've done everything I can to make sure I could provide for you. It was all for you. But... Maybe that was a mistake. You know, I get the feeling we're pretty similar, you and I. Huh? I also had a family before I ended up out on the street. Had a son just like Shodakun, as a matter of fact. I grew up in a poor household as a kid. So I worked from morning till night to make sure my kids wouldn't have to go through the same thing. Never once thought of how it might affect them. In the end, my family gave up on me. And here I am. I'd lost sight of what was really important. Failure's a natural part of life. Some failures you can take back, and some you can't. And that's where we differ, you see. I'd say you still have a chance, don't you think? Huh? Dad, are you sure about that bookshelf? Well, what's wrong? If I'm buying you books, you're gonna need a bookshelf, right? Now that I look at it, it's not a bad bookshelf. This is for your troubles. Please, take it. Sorry about earlier. I think I'll take that chance you mentioned. <laughs> Pick out some good books for him, all right? Of course. Thanks, you two. I'll treasure this bookshelf for the rest of my life. Ah, sounds good. Get along with your dad now. I will! See you later! I'm glad it all worked out. Yeah. You said nobody would be happy with a present from someone like you. But you're dead wrong. Your gift wasn't dirty or grimy. You made that bookshelf with love. That's the best kind of present anyone could ever ask for. <laughs> Thank you.